Hello, I'm Abyx Toy Cat, and welcome back to another update news video. Today, we were expecting to find out about the mace and its enchantment information, but what we got instead was a heavy core change, quite a few of them actually, as well as a new way to summon wolves and guarantee you'll get the one you want, as well as a whole host of trial chamber changes that finally answer the question of how do you find them. You know, no longer will you have to search with a spyglass underground and desperately hope for some tough bricks, but instead there is a dedicated map specifically for this. How does all of this work and more? Let's explain in today's five-part news video, and we'll start with the wolves and the other bug fixes before talking about the heavy core, the trial chamber, what wasn't answered this week, as well as the fact that this actually released for Bedrock on a Wednesday, something that is bizarre, but hopefully the start of something new. But yeah, first things first, they have made quite a few changes in this update, and one of the first ones is to do with death. Something which is very hard to do in a forest biome, but if you were to die, say, looking for a trial chamber, happens to all of us all the time, you will now revert to a third person camera. This, by the way, is the bedrock death screen. We've learned that a lot of people are confused by this. We've also learned that quite a few people are confused by the biomes in which you can find wolves. There are, of course, eight new wolves coming to Minecraft, not in 1.21, but in 1.20.80, coming out fairly soon, by the way. And they've now made it so that if you spawn a wolf using the wolf spawn egg or the slash summon wolf command, uh, now you don't have to spawn it in the specific, say, jungle edge biome. Instead, you can go to a bamboo forest and if you summon a wolf here, it will just keep in mind that it's vaguely a jungle and so you get a jungle wolf. This is a pretty cool improvement for people who are looking uh, to just kind of place these wolves down. It feels like a band-aid solution though. It's the same for savannas. Instead of having to go to a savanna plateau, you can either summon a wolf using an egg or using one of these. But like I say, I think the problem with this solution is it doesn't actually address that people would much rather just summon a wolf of one type and then have some form of data that says savanna type. That would be the much better way to do this, and honestly, it's something that Bedrock could do with fixing in their command system. Java commands allow you to place a very specific mob with specific armor types, but on Bedrock, we can't even specify a type of wolf, but still, it's a good improvement regardless. They've also fixed a bug that led to uh, the wolf armor not displaying correctly while it's in item frames. Here you can see it displays just great. But yeah, when it comes to bug fixes, it's never the most exciting part of an update. What is instead much more exciting is things like the heavy core. The Heavy Core is one of the Minecraft community's biggest mysteries because Mojang have confirmed that it will be obtained in a different way to how it is right now, but they haven't confirmed exactly what that is yet, and so if you're curious what they answered in this week's snapshot on beta, well, apparently not very much. Interestingly, if you look at the Java snapshot, they made these changes to the Heavy Core, while if you look on Bedrock, they made precisely none. This is something that confused me as a Heavy Core enthusiast, however, if you look through the changes they made on Java, they made it waterloggable something which they already did on Bedrock. For some reason, waterlogging on Bedrock just always works better. They made it not be destroyed by lava, something which, as you can see, already works on Bedrock. And also, they made it correctly mineable with a pickaxe. And also, uh, they made it slightly adjusted in time, although it still takes a really, really long time. But yeah, the Heavy Core's biggest question is kind of remaining unanswered, which is very, very bizarre. Um, speaking of very, very bizarre, do you like my, uh, my Heavy Core temple? I think this is beautiful. I think that trying to collect one of these in survival would be one of the maddest things that you could do, and so I love to show one off in creative here or there. By the way, clearly a sign if you look at this temple, they should make some heavy core stairs, but do you know what else they should make? If you answered a new type of map but for the trial chambers, then you would be in luck because that's precisely what they made. But fun fact, like the other maps which locate specific items, you can't find it in the creative inventory. There's quite a few items that Minecraft has which are specifically not available just by using creative, but instead what you've got to do is you've got to find a villager, and because villagers come in with a particular job and don't seem to adapt to ones, there's a really handy use for the mace here, which is a way to one-hit KO enemies just like this, and we're going to keep on doing that until we find a cartographer. Well, no, because he has an eye patch or something like this. But yeah, just want to point out, very, very handy that you can do this continually, right? If you want to practice your mace hits and also guarantee that you get a uh, cartographer, this is the way to do it. So more seriously, though, if you want to see something interesting, uh, once you trade up with the cartographer, they've made a very slight change uh, to the way that his trade system works. So you can buy some stuff of him or sell him some, uh, you know, like things all you like. But eventually you get to level three where you can give him a compass or buy a compass off him for an emerald rather. And uh, then what you can do is you can buy the existing map. This is either a woodland mansion or an ocean monument, two of the more sought after structures that are hard to find, or you can get this 
a Trial Chambers map. This is brand new, and as you can see, the only difference between this and every other map is that it has this weird little icon. Honestly, it kind of looks like a techno flower or something, and it will point you to the nearest Trial Chamber. Except, actually, do you want to know a fun fact? It doesn't. So, it will point you to a Trial Chamber, I assume. Let's find out. Oh, it took me all the way across my world back to my heavy port core portal, but as you can see, it's taking me over here. I'm going to exactly line up with it, and I'll go underneath this exact spot. There is in fact a trial chamber here, so it's not that the item isn't accurate. However, it makes a mistake that Minecraft itself seems to make when it comes to trial chambers, because they did change the placements of them in this beta. They've decided that if they're going to give us a way to find the trial chambers via the maps, that they're going to make them slightly fewer and further in between. They don't want you to be able to easily farm between multiple close by trial chambers, is what I assumed. I got very ready. I, I was immediately going to go to my Seed Sunday video from literally this week and say, uh, yep, the seed that I found, what well, that was the very best one. Sadly, it doesn't work literally three days later. But you want to know what I found out? I went down into the trial chamber and I found that it was in exactly the same place below the spawn. So IBX trial P353 is the seed from that video and it is still very, very good. But if you watch me use it on stream, you might know that I found a second trial chamber just down this weird cave. And I was like, oh, so surely the minimum spacing will have been upped. Well, if they're moving a trial chamber, at least it's only one of them. But then I looked over here and that second trial chamber is just a single cave away. You can still access both on this seed which means that although they have adjusted trial chamber spawning, it hasn't adjusted on either of these seeds. In fact, something that makes me think that this is potentially unintentional, or Mojang doesn't know where trial chambers are, is the fact that if we type in slash locate and then structure trial chambers, bear in mind I'm on top of one, it will say that there is one right there. Where's the nearest one that I haven't seen though? It will say, yeah, like 1286 blocks away. And this is interesting because if we go to a uh, cartographer, as I'm going to do right here, so let's Let's just quickly hop into creative where we can actually buy things. If I were to hop into creative and buy myself a map from him, where would he point towards? Bear in mind, he's directly on top of the trial chamber and there's another one 100 blocks away in case it's too close. Well, what he's going to point towards is instead uh, one all the way over there. Interestingly, in the same direction as the locate command gave me. And so here we are at the closest point that a trial chamber map could point me to, but it's literally 1800 blocks away from spawn. I mean, like, uh, I'm sure there's a trial chamber down there. I'm relatively certain of that. But the amount of work you have to go through is greatly increased by these maps, which makes me think that the way Mojang thinks trial chambers are is different to the way that it actually is, which is interesting because this is one of the very few features which is in true parity with the Java edition. So what is happening? I couldn't actually tell you. I could just tell you uh, that even if you have the trial chamber map, you might struggle to find this structure and especially interesting is the fact that between here and spawn keep in mind that we spawn was about zero zero and between here and there we will actually find a structure no doubt in fact there we go i i thought that i'd have to go like confirm on chunk base but i was at zero zero and so much closer to spawn was this trial chamber at uh you know so instead of being 1800 blocks away from spawn this is a single room, it looks like. <laughs> okay, it's just generating right now. This one is at 1,200 blocks away from spawn, but Minecraft didn't know about it through the locate command, and Minecraft didn't know about it through the <laughs> through the literal trial chambers map. And so I wonder if there's something going wrong between when they think they're placing trial chambers and when they actually are. If they are, please keep it the way it is. I much prefer it this way. But uh, yeah, this is why they have betas and previews and snapshots. It's to work out the bugs like this one. Speaking of bugs like this one, last week's snapshot and preview left the Minecraft community with three big unanswered questions about 1.21, obviously excluding its name. One of those is, will the mace be nerfed? It is extremely powerful, capable of infinite damage. Is that something they're going to bring down or cap? Second of all, we had a question regarding, will it be enchantable in a unique way? Uh, they said it was a bug that it wasn't enchantable in Java, but then on Bedrock it could only take two separate enchantments, which was weird. And finally, we have the question 
about the trial chamber room and, in, uh, and you know, indeed the entrance and what will that do? Will you be able to enter in a weird way? And I think we have at least a couple of partial answers. Sadly, when it comes to mace enchantments, they're leaving us in the dark. I imagine this is something they are developing, if they're going to do it, or they've moved on to other things entirely. Who knows for sure? All we know is that there is a secret Minecraft video on the playlist, so they're, they're planning something that will be announced soon. Might be the update name, might be something else. But second of all, uh, the answer to will the mace be nerfed looks like it's a no. If you look through the Minecraft Java advancements, that is the Java version of achievements, you can see that there is one for dueling more than 50 damage with the mace, which means that at a minimum they're going to have this stay all the way to release. They wouldn't add advancement any other way. I think that means the mace's damage part is basically fixed. They think it's fine. They think that you can nerf it for PvP because when you're doing PvP, you can basically set up the mini game that way. And in base Minecraft, they think it's fine. Very interesting. Makes it very unlikely it will be nerfed. Um, and so we know we we know about the nerfing. We don't know about the enchantments. But what about the entrance room? And here's the interesting thing, right? Take just a second to look at this week's uh, you know snapshot and say, wait a minute. So they added the trial chamber map. That's that's very exciting. But if there's a trial chamber map, that's the official way you find this place. Forever, we've been looking at this room, the entrance room, and saying, oh yeah, well, it's probably going to be an entrance into the trial chamber. That's what everyone has said as a reference because it's the easiest room. You get some wood, as you can see right here. You get a couple of free chests and you get a vault. It is. Uh, uh, there's also the secret room down here with an extra chest and a bed. This is set up as a great entrance and a way to fight the rest of the structure. However, if we have trial chamber maps, I would say this being the start of an entrance is very unlikely. And instead, this is a new planned room maybe, or a new planned something that's going to go on this side that just has a placeholder of nine blocks right now. And that is probably going to relate to the mace. Will we learn about it at the same time we learn about the mace? Well, at the risk of grasping at straws as a community, something I know uh, that, you know, it's, it's something that we can be tempted to do. I would say that it's looking like it could be something, right? Also, look on this seed. <laughs> this is IBX Trial 353. You can find a, uh, you know, a free dungeon chest mixed in with the trial chambers. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, those are the three big answered questions, but it looks like we have at least partial answers to two of them, but I'm hoping that uh, they go further into depth than this. But before we talk about more uh, in, uh, speculation and what this actually means, analysis about this, let's go into the fifth part of today's video. Because you might have noticed that this beta and preview video is coming to you on a Wednesday. Usually, it is just almost a set in stone thing that the Minecraft Java team release their snapshots on Wednesday and the beta and preview team release theirs on Thursdays. They never will do things that are coming in next week's snapshot on the beta and preview. And so Minecraft Bedrock has just always been behind Minecraft Java just by necessity of the schedule. However, this week and indeed last week, they have brought out, uh, you know, these features on Wednesday for Bedrock and last week it was Thursday for Java. And this makes me think that they're going to start coordinating these schedules. I imagine that this means that right now it looks like we're going back and forth between Wednesday and Thursday, but hopefully they can eventually pick a day that works for both platforms, and when they're announcing major new features, you can play with them both on Java and on Bedrock. That is a good thing for me, and that's something I just want to give a little bit of credit for, that there are a lot of changes here and a lot of things that still need to be done, but they are making really, really good headway on 1.21. Anyway, now it's time for the conclusion and the analysis off this update and indeed this preview so far. This week's Minecraft preview is disappointing and that is a necessary fact of how updates are delivered. Every single major feature comes in one big batch and then there's always going to be some smaller ones afterwards. However, the big feature that it does bring, the Trial Chambers Exploration Map, is one that represents a positive and shows us the direction the update is going in, which doesn't seem like a bad thing to me. However, it does represent a fairly small set of changes, which makes people question, are we getting getting close to the end of 1.21 features because there really are two big ways you can take the update. You can start polishing and bug fixing as soon as the middle of April, if you want to release it in June, or you can push that as far forwards as you can to get as many small but cool features in there before there. Is that what's happening now? Are they really finishing off the trial chambers? I think that what is interesting about this feature is that even though they've made maps for them now, they are continuously tweaking. This will be the fourth tweak in a very little time for Minecraft Bedrock's trial chambers, which shows that they do want to get it right, which in my opinion is a very good thing. However, 
it does mean you get these previews like this, which I do think are important to cover, uh, because it is a whole brand new feature that will be coming, but as far as the most exciting thing this week, I don't think it'll be this preview. I think that it is either the big announcement that they're going to bring out. Is it about enchantments? Is it a name? Who knows for sure? And I think if you're a Minecraft Bedrock player, it looks as though the majority of the community seem to be more excited about the brand new add-ons that have come out there, and uh, although we could have a wider discussion about whether uh, it's a great thing that they're on the marketplace or not, I do think uh, that there are some pretty promising ones, and that's why I'll be playing through those. And so, as far as the preview goes, we'll wait till next week for some exciting stuff, but as far as everything else is going, I'm excited regardless. Also, um, just uh, sorry about this video being slightly short. It is a, uh, <laughs> I want it to be as concise as possible, but also I wanted to make sure because my grandparents are visiting, uh, I, they, they looked after me a lot when I was a kid, they were there uh, a lot of places. I want to make sure I get back to that as soon as possible so I can be a good host. And so I hope that you enjoyed this one. Uh, because I hope that you liked it the most, and I'll see you in the next one. That that rhyme wasn't even good, but I'm not going to redo it. Instead, I'm going to go and give them a roast. It's actually fish and chips. I that's what's uh that's what I'm about to go eat. It's going to be great. Uh, you know what else can be great? Your day, if you just believe in yourself, internet, which you should do more often. Okay, that's that's not how you end a YouTube video. Bye bye. <laughs>